Hi, welcome to the channel today. Today I'm going to show you how to edit or remove a difficult and stubborn footer or numbering system on a PowerPoint template. This is something a few people have asked me over the period and I thought to share the knowledge here. So yeah, let me show you how to do this. If this has ever given you a hard time when working on your PowerPoint project. By the way, if you are looking for high quality, modern and creative PowerPoint presentation templates, like the one you see in, and that you can easily edit for your project, I will leave a link below in the description box of where to get one. Every aspect of the template is editable to reflect the data story that you are communicating to your audience. So for instance, if um, you are communicating a specific number to your audience, the percentage number could be easily changed to reflect that number. So for instance, we can change this to 70%. The three images here could easily be removed or replaced with something else. The percentages within it could also be easily changed. Um, so we can change that to 20% and 50%. Um, the titles could also be easily changed or removed entirely to suit the purpose of your presentation. Um, and so is any anything or any aspect within the slide and PowerPoint template. As, as I mentioned before, uh, I will share a link below in the description box of where you can get this PowerPoint template. If you are looking for a high quality, modern and creative PowerPoint presentation template um, to wow your audience in your next presentation. So let's get to it. To edit or remove a difficult and stubborn footer or numbering, on a PowerPoint template, you first have to click on the View tab. Once you click on the View tab, you will click on Slide Master within the Master Views. So click on the Slide Master. Once you click on the Slide Master, this will bring the Slide Master itself, and then you have um, a few child slides. Um, by the way, if you click on any of the child slide, you wouldn't be able to edit the footer or the numbering system on the PowerPoint template. So for you to be able to edit those features, you need to click on the master slide itself. Once you're in the master slide, to edit the footer, you have to click on it. And then, for, and then if you like to change, for instance, the, any of the information in the footer, what you have to do is you highlight, you highlight the information that you like to change. So for instance, let's say if we would like to edit part of this um, link, to a desired details that we would like to use it for the purpose of our presentation. We just have to highlight the whole of it and then edit that information to the desired one that we would like to use for our presentation purposes. So for these tutorials, if we like to edit this information to FOK tutorials, for instance, We can do that by just highlighting it and then changing that information into FOK tutorials. If we would like to change or remove the information benefit, we can do that by highlighting on that information and then using the back space button on your keyboard or the delete button on your keyboard to get rid of that information. Equally, 
we can just click on the whole box of the footer to remove the and that will completely remove the footer for the rest of your PowerPoint slides. But for these purposes, we'll maintain the FOK tutorials um, for the meantime. So what I'll do is I'll do Control Z, bring it back. So we have amended the footer for the meantime to FOK tutorials. Equally, if we would like to change the numbering system here, um, we can do that by highlighting on the numbering system, and then we can change it to any desired details that we would like to use for our presentation purposes. So for instance, if um, we would like to change this to FOK, as maybe a branding for our presentation purposes, I would just type that information in there, FOK, and this will appear on every slide of the PowerPoint template. Equally, if we like to get rid of the whole entire numbering system, you can click on it and use the backspace or delete button to get rid of it entirely. So I'll just click on the box and then click on um, the backspace or the delete button to completely get rid of that. And you can do the same thing for the background and that will completely get rid of it for the purpose of these tutorials i would like to maintain it so i'll do Control z to bring them back once you edit the footer and numbering um, to your desired details for the presentation purposes you've managed to edit or change the footer for every slide of your presentation. All you have to do then is go onto the master view and click on the close. Once you click on the close, that change changes should appear on every slide of your PowerPoint presentation. So you see that if you go to slide one, what we change it to is the FOK tutorials, and then you have the branding on there. The same thing applies to the second slide. And if you have more slides, the, the same will appear in every subsequent. So this is how you edit or remove a difficult and stubborn footer or numbering on a PowerPoint template. I hope this video was helpful please give a thumbs up and subscribe to support the channel if the video was helpful and comment below.